Welcome back to the channel. I can't sing if you can't tell. Terrible opening. I'm gonna keep it though. Anyways, so today's video, today's video is on one Ms. Tess Holiday. Now, you all know who Tess Holiday is. I, I'm not, I don't have to tell any of you who Tess Holiday is. First time I've mentioned her on my channel, but she is. She has been established on YouTube many times over. Um, and I don't really follow her on anything. First of all, I'm not on Twitter. I hate Twitter. I don't know why people do Twitter. So whenever she posts something, I have no idea. I have, I have no idea. I'm not going to follow her. I really couldn't care less. Um, I guess that's not technically true. If I, if I could care less, then I wouldn't... Uh, if I was actually at the bottom of the amount I care about her and her content, then I wouldn't be making a video about her. But, um, so I, I just saw a, a video by one Greg Doucette, one of my favorites on YouTube, uh, mentioning uh, that apparently Tess Holliday has been diagnosed with anorexia. Okay, so you know what that tells me? Um, that tells me it's just that time of the year she needs attention. She needs attention again. And so she'll do, she's like, uh, I apologize to, for saying this name wrong. I know I say this guy's name wrong every time. She's like Milo Yiannopoulos. Or at least I think I'm saying his last name wrong. I'm really not sure. Um, Milo Yiannopoulos is a guy whose entire, his, his entire career on the internet has been made from just getting attention he needs attention and with that attention he can transfer that into whatever projects he's doing and he can make money directly from that attention that is the entire existence and career of one milo yiannopoulos so you really can't believe anything he says because everything he says is directly designed to get him attention on it used to be twitter i think it mainly was twitter again i wasn't on twitter i didn't really follow him but I know of his reputation, I know of that sort of thing. Tess Holiday, while her, her business model is obviously a little bit different, she is a model for magazines or in whatever else models do bottling for. Um, she was a lingerie model for, well, it wasn't Vogue, it was one of, the, one of the magazines. And as soon as she got on a magazine cover, she exploded in popularity. Uh, this was back, what, like, uh, four or five years ago, I want to say. But yeah, as soon as she got on this magazine cover, she exploded in popularity and people were so outraged and offended. How dare this magazine hire uh, a very, very overweight, obese model as, as the, you know, how dare they give her money for her pictures or what, you know, people got just, it just, it just is what it is. People act that way nowadays. People get super offended for, for anything nowadays. And honestly, you know, even though people hated her, they gave her exactly what she wanted, which was attention. They gave her attention. You know, if honestly, if, if everyone had just been like, okay, you do you, good job, you know, have a good one. She would have still, you know, been a paid model or anything, but she wouldn't, you wouldn't be hearing from her to this day. Now, personally, I don't care that she's made a career of it. So I don't, I don't have any problem mentioning her and mentioning things that she's done and or said. It makes no difference in my life. And I'm actually glad she's successful. I'm never, I'm never glad, I never want people to be specifically not successful financially. Um, unless maybe they've actually done something really wrong. Uh, and Tess, her worst thing about her is that, you know, her whole, uh, it's not, the body positivity isn't the problem. It's the like health at any size or health at any weight that's the problem because it's just factually not true it's just objectively not true um body positivity is not a bad thing you know if 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 if, if you're asking for my side of it anyways i'll get into it i'll get into the body positivity stuff later so yeah so uh she came out on twitter as saying that she has recently been diagnosed with anorexia and she is only now for the first time in her life eating food regularly Because apparently that's what anorexia is. Anorexia is just what? Sorry. Apparently that's what anorexia is. 
it's just if you just don't eat food regularly I don't think so I'm pretty sure uh, that's not the definition of anorexia so I mean here's the thing like you know I haven't eaten regularly as an adult you know I typically only have one meal a day um, because that's just that's just what works for me and I'm very overweight I would never say that because I only have one meal a day uh, clearly I'm anorexic I mean you can really tell right and all these neck rolls like oh just the anorexia it sucks right no I'm not anorexia you, uh, anore I'm not anorexia I am not anorexia either but I'm also not anorexic it's a ridiculous thing to say and she knows it is okay I don't know her personally but there's no way she actually legitimately thinks of herself as anorexic there's no way um, it's attention she just needs attention it's probably been a couple months Ooh, maybe it's even been most of a year since last people people were talking about her on YouTube so she needs attention that's all it is then that's all it ever really was um, you know she has this kind of this mindset of like I'm changing the world is she not really she's also not even really hurting the world either she's not doing anything she's she's making good money good for her on that one and I feel like that's mainly what it's about with her um, because again she, she, you know so what do I think about her as a whole um, the part I can get on board with Tess Holiday in terms of what she does and says, I can get on board with the notion that uh, fat shaming is bad. Because fat shaming is bad. There's no reason to try and publicly humiliate people or, you know, call someone a bad person just for being overweight. Hell, if you go to, say, like, um, you know, a pastry shop, you walk in that pastry shop, and you look over and you see that there is a very overweight person at the, you know one of the tables eating a pastry uh, is there any reason to pub to try and publicly humiliate them to shame them to call them a bad person to start screaming and yelling at them or anything no there's no good reason to do that and that's what I can honestly agree with someone like Tess Holiday about is that this idea that you're a bad person because you're overweight you think that person actually wants to be overweight no they don't very few people actually want to be overweight. That's their actual want. Very few people. They do exist, but there's, they're not the majority, let me tell you. Um, and even when you want to say, you know, the, 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 the biggest argument I've ever heard uh, anyone, you know, saying like that it's wrong to be overweight is, well, it raises insurance for all of us, doesn't it? Yes, it does. The thing is, is that we all have our demons that we're fighting. All of us do. Every single person is battling something. You know, um, are you a bad person because you're addicted to cigarettes? No, at least I don't think so. That sucks if you are, and I feel bad for you if you are, because I, I've seen many of my friends battle that one as well. It looks like a really tough one to beat, um, and some people are never able to beat it. But are they a bad people for doing it? No, they're not. So if that's true, then I don't think that someone who's addicted to eating way too many calories is a bad person for doing that either. Um... But here's the part that I do have to disagree with uh, Tess Holliday, and that is, that's, her main MO is health at every size, and that's just factually not true. It's just factually untrue. Um, you cannot be 550 pounds and be healthy. That's impossible. It's legitimately impossible. Um, or at least there are no human beings that are large enough in structure to be able to weigh 500 something pounds and be healthy it's actually impossible it can't be done even if you were 500 pounds of solid muscle that would still be ridiculously unhealthy the heart can't take it it just can't take it you know um i i, I saw uh, for, for anyone who knows who Rich Piana is, I saw him uh, say in an interview with actually a, it was on Tosh.0 oh once, but I love, I, I just, it was such a great line because it's just so true, you know, uh, the interviewer, which was uh, Daniel Tosh, uh, I forget what exactly what the question was. It, it was probably something along the lines of like, is this is a good thing to do? Is this healthy or whatever? And, and Rich Piana said, whether it's muscle or fat, the heart doesn't know the difference, you know? 
So yeah, even if you were 500 pounds, pure solid muscle would still be a bad thing. Not a good thing. Uh, even Shaquille O'Neal doesn't weigh even close to that. Shaq is like 300 something pounds and he is a massive human being. Huge. Of course he's going to weigh more than someone like me who's at 5'8", you know? I forget exactly what Shaq's at. He's at like 7 something. But of course he's going to carry more weight than me, obviously. But even still, even if, even if Shaq was at 500 pounds, it would still be unhealthy for him. His heart isn't designed to carry that much weight and have to pump blood for that love for that size of a body. No one's is. So, anyways, that's my today's video on one Tess Holiday. Do I hate her? No, I don't hate her. She is a troll, like I said, in the same way that Milo Yiannopoulos is. Their their careers are based on them having to get attention. They have to get attention. Uh, if they go too long without it then they won't be able to make money in other certain ways. I don't know exactly how she makes her money for the most part. I don't know if she makes money off of, like, I don't know. Milo, like, sells books and stuff, so he needs that attention so that if he's about to sell a book, he needs to go online and on um, whatever platform he is allowed to be on and say something absurd so that people get really outraged and then people that like him will buy the book to try and spite the people that are outraged at him. And Tess Holiday is kind of similar. Uh, it's been a while since she's done anything, and so uh, she had to she had to come out, you know, swinging with, oh, I'm anorexic now, I'm, uh, you know, and next it's gonna be she's battling bulimia, and after that it's gonna be she's it's 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 always gonna be something. There's always gonna be something. So that's my video on Tess. I don't hate her. She's kind of funny, but I wouldn't follow her because Lord knows I'm not going on Twitter. All right, see you guys.